Welcome, mates. I am Bloodthirsty Lord, but you can call me Lordy and tell back on Prater Hunter Grants. And on our screen is the Alpha Prater, which you can unlock right now by just launching into the game. If you're above a level 100, you'll automatically unlock this skin and utilize within the game. It is epic. We're going to give our first look and impressions on the cosmetics, the gameplay itself with this character and its weapon as well, being the Alpha Sickle. So it should be a lot of fun utilizing the Alpha Prater and giving our thoughts based on that as well. Before we do get this video, make sure to hit that like button and show your support towards the channel. Hit the subscribe button to keep updated with us. And there's also a join button too, where you become a member of the channel to support the channel even further and beyond. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. So this is our build that we've highlighted on screen right now. We'll highlight it as we go, but let's go and discuss what the Alpha Predator is. We can see on screen, it does have a bit of a description. The Alpha Predator stacks will mimic the exact copy of a Hunter class. So there isn't too much difference there. It's pretty much identical. It also has a bit of lore against it as well. Known legend as the leader of a great rebellion, this he's freed his race from the clutches of an ancient evil and came to be known as the first Hunter, the Alpha Predator. That is the lore that's behind the character. Very cool. And the way it looks is amazing. I love the appearance. Let's go through it. This is the default appearance. Do a quick rotation. It has a lot of cosmetic benefits alongside with this skin. And to get this for absolutely free is insane. So I was very extremely happy about that. And it's, I still have my order for the figure coming in very soon. I think it's one week away to be shipped to my house. And we'll most likely take another video event and just highlight that as well. Because that was kind of cool. Let's highlight the actual cosmetics. So with the body type, it's only going to be one body type since it's a skin. Uh, alongside that, or class, sorry. Alongside that, you have the mask, which is the Alpha Prancer mask. If we go down here, they have different variants as well. We'll quickly highlight each one. Some really cool ones, to be honest. And then alongside that, we get... No wall paints, don't expect that. But the Predlocks, we do get the Alpha Predlocks, which are in the back, let's see it. And it's got its own variants as well, in different colors, which is very beautiful to see. So you do get more of a choice with the class itself when it comes to that cosmetics. Then the body, you do have its skin patterns as well, hiding the Alpha skin patterns, which are just crazy, just to look at. They're pretty exotic. And then the armor outfits, you can see them as well on screen. Some of them are customized for the character itself from the pre-existing armor selections that we do have. But it looks beautiful. I'm just gonna quickly go over each one. To highlight it, there you go. It looks really cool with that rib cage design. Really happy with that. And obviously, we're going to use the Alpha Sickle, which is the newest weapon in the game itself. Once welded by the legendary Alpha Predator, this sickle was used in the uprising of the Heat against their cruel rulers thousands of years ago. Very cool to see. Quick rotation of that. Pretty cool. We got some skin shaders as well. We'll most likely go to a future video of these skins as well, even further if we need to. But it's pretty amazing. I don't think that's worth that much, but yeah, it's pretty amazing. <laughs> then our build for today is the Alpha Predator build. Alpha Sickle has to be there. The Alpha Predator class has to be there. Smart Disc as a secondary item in case we have some trouble. Smart Disc will come in clutch. Healing Kit, Motion Detector, and Audio Decoy as our gear choice. Perks, Adrenal Boost, Imperishable, and Impatient. I feel like this works really darn well on a Hunter variation, which will work well on an Alpha Predator and also a Jungle Hunter 87. So we can utilize this build in action, especially because we can go into a fight and try to do some damage, but not take too much damage from any team. We can obviously try and change some of these builds after if you want to focus on the Alpha Sickle, but right now I'm just wanting to do a versatile build for the first look on the Alpha Predator. So that's the build itself. You can replicate in your own matches. Let's jump into our own match and highlight our first look on the Alpha Predator. So jumping onto our match on the map Backwater, which has new lighting by the way. So it's got change in the lighting scheme. So we'll find out if that's good or bad. And my game hasn't crashed yet, so this is a good sign as the Alpha Predator. Look at us go. First look, impressions on the actual character itself. Let's get into it. Obviously, it mirrors a lot of the actual Hunter variations, so that's going to be not too much of a gameplay difference there. But the way the cosmetics look in the game, Jesus, that is so clean. It looks really good. Oh my god, that looks so cool. And jump in the trees as well. I don't even want to enter Cloak, by the way. Like, I feel like if I enter Cloak, I'm just doing a dishonor to this skin. It is so cool. Wow, dude. I love it. Should we focus on the game? I feel like we should focus on the game, but I'm too busy jumping around. Wait, where are they? No, I don't see them at all. So we have to listen to sounds. Overall. We'll see if we can find them. And being the Hunt's variation was also during a boost, makes it feel like a bit of a scout-ish class, because you can jump quite a bit. So it's usually very fun. Did they kill any AIs here? No, let's actually activate these traps. Oh, we gotta look at the sickle too. I forgot about that. Okay, let's look at the sickle. Let me activate the alarm, hopefully. Oh, he's got a massive spike on his back. That one massive spike. That's cool. I just realized it now. I didn't see it before. Okay, so this weapon itself is the sickle. Looks pretty clean. Let's see the animations. 
So it seems to be a three hit a combo attack on light attacks. Is there any heavy attacks? No, there isn't any heavy attacks. It's just light attacks. And he seems to be very, very fast. He seems ridiculously fast. He seems quicker than the Elder Sword. And it takes a bit of bar usage, but nothing too crazy. I think he's manageable. They didn't come here too. Oh no, this is bad. I don't know where they're at. On the very bottom. They're still in the game. We're lagging, so that's not what came in mind. That always makes it quite a bit more intense for the game experience, but we'll try to do our best. They're not here too. But the, the generator mission is here. If the generator mission is here, they have to come up here very, very soon. I can't remember how that starts though. If it starts down there, then they come up? I think so. If I'm not mistaken. Unless they're playing hide and seek, or we see some stuff that we can destroy. So make sure we do that. Let's destroy that. Perfect. Here's something down here. See some sound isolation coming up on our targets. So that's perfect. We're going to hear us being invisible, but we're going to try and rush this. Go for a couple attacks. Very low on HP already. Oh my god. That was quick. Should we go for a long claim? Nah, should we just leave it? We'll leave it and let him go. Actually, I'm unsure if his team members are coming. Oh, they are. We'll allow him to reset off him. He's healing right now. We're getting XP just by being close, even though we don't need it. But we have more kills. I'll get some stealth kills of this, if possible. Seems to do a bit of damage. Oh my god, he's talking in a different language. I'm, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Is it Spanish? Oh, there's a barrel too. That can shoot straight away. Wait, how are you shooting me? I don't see you. Dude. Oh, he's over there. <laughs> I had to do it. I'll be honest, I had to. Let's find some piggies. So I need some piggies. We try and kill the alpha sickle. See if it's actually one shot. If it's a one shot naturally, I'm pretty happy with that. It'll straight away become a main weapon just because of that. If I can one shot piggies. Where my piggies at? Piggies! Oh my god, there's none. Okay. Just have to heal up right next to them. Hopefully they have not noticed me. They're right around there at West 285. I think it's that little house and then they go towards that part there. And then they go back to the mission that we thought they were at initially where the generators are. I think that's the case. I'm pretty sure that's how the mission goes for the fight team. But we can still hunt them down either way. They're down there. I can see them running. Let's push up. Let's push up. We'll isolate this one member here. The tracking is nice. Oh my god. The tracking is very good. Even though it's three hits and the damage may be decent on a single target. It is very interesting. Oh my god. He can see me. It's very interesting for its tracking purposes. Which makes it easy for me to actually lunge towards the target. He healed up. It's so quick for him. He can't even actually parry it. Oh my god. That is insane. One of the guys is doing the missions. Oh no, he actually got DC'd. That's alright. I know there's stealth kill animation coming up very soon. Oh, we gotta move. Go to stealth. Let's find some piggies. They just spawned right next to me? No, they didn't. I thought they did. I thought there was a piggy right next to me, man. There's no piggies. Oh, there is. Wait. Fast piggies. I need him. Can you see me? Can you see me? I'm pretty sure you can't. Perfect. Pull out Alpha Sickle once again. Let's go for some strikes here. Do some damage towards this support player. I don't want to kill the other dude, so we're going to watch out. I will be going for a stealth kill on that guy. Can I get it? What? No! Dude! I'm so annoyed by that. That was so annoying just to have that occur. We still have to try and see if this one shot piggies. 
Oh, give me a jump. There we go. Thank you. Where the pig's at? There was someone here. I don't think so. He's over there towards that location. I'm pretty sure we can still get a stealth kill. It's still possible. That's some damage there. Nice. We can try and engage this. But I don't want to cleave the guys. If I cleave them, they'll end up... Oh, wow. Nice damage. Got that. Nice. Get me out. Get me out. Thank you. Let's dip. Oh my god, I love the Alpha Pareto. It feels good already. Because I like playing the Hunter variants. It's always been a very underestimated build using Hunter classes. The Jungle Hunter 87 and also the other classes that we do utilize that are also similar to the Hunter are always fun. I always have a blast with them. It's a pleasure. There's so many peas here. There's a Stealth Kill icon in there as well. One of the guys, I'm pretty sure it's the player that is playing Assault. We've got a stealth kill icon in, which I really do want. The spawn point's right next to us. Two. They're both here. Okay. Perfect. Go back. The small piggies here. Let's get that. Revive the team member. Hopefully he doesn't see me. Oh my god, this is so close. He's going for more healing. Is the mission in there as well? If it's not, I can get stealth kill. Got it. There we go. Hey, whoa. Where is he? Dude. Who are flying? What? I'm making people teleport. Oh my god. That is crazy. I still want more stealth kills. Give me all my stealth kills. Allow him to get the revive on this guy. Thank you. Wait for it. Oh no. I had to do it, man. I had to do it. I want to self kill, but I'm like, I'll get the kill either way. Get some hits. Oh, he hit me. Some nice damage there. He's gonna use his pistol now. Go from a side. Lunge. Wow, it takes, it takes a couple hits. Whoa, the tracking's a little bit wonky there. But it's because I'm lagging, I think. Hey, got him. <laughs> that was crazy. I'll be honest. Alpha Prance are pretty lit. The guy rage quit in my hands. Oh my god. The first rage quit on the first game. You gotta love that. Insane match. Oh my god. The Alpha Prance is pretty dominant. I'm gonna find that this character to be very fun for us to utilize. We'll most likely play more Alpha Prance in the upcoming days because this is insanely fun. Oh, that's crazy. It would be cool if we had a unique roar as well. That would be kind of cool. But geez, mates. Tell me Peter's thoughts in the comment section down below. What do you think about the Alpha Predator and how we played it? Do you think that's good? Do you think it's bad? Because my first look on the character, it is pretty dope. Obviously, it's pretty much identical to the Hunter variation. And it makes it really fun to utilize that. But the Alpha Sickle as well being dropped just because you're level 100. It's just crazy good. It's a free class with free weapon and makes the game more impactful when using a different weapon and a different class at the same time. It's amazing. But tell me your and thoughts in the comment section down below. As always, mates, it is a pleasure to have you guys on the channel as we go through this. I'll catch you, mates, next time. Bye.